just a just a sense of joy of knowing um, that these the children are going to be with their dad. A Maryville church is prepared to welcome home a man convicted of killing unarmed Iraqi civilians. President Trump pardoned Dustin Hurd last night. He had been sentenced to more than a dozen years in prison for voluntary manslaughter. Well, tonight his family, church family, tells 10 News, 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan they've been praying for his release. There's been a smile on our faces. At Fairview United Methodist, Pastor Mickey Rainwater welcomed the news of a church member coming home. That's that's the kind of stuff that um, sweet um, Christmas movies are made of. Honey, he's been pardoned, free pardon, totally full pardon. He's home. President Trump pardoned 39-year-old Dustin Hurd Thursday. The Maryville man was serving more than a dozen years in federal prison for what he did in the downtown Baghdad Square. As a private security contractor in 2007, Hurd and three others opened fire, killing 14 unarmed Iraqi civilians. His lawyer said it was self-defense after an ambush. A federal judge found they were firing wildly into cars and shot people as they turned away. My support of, of Dustin and the Hurd family does not in any way diminish what happened, the horrible thing that happened, um, and the, the lives that were lost. Maryville City Councilwoman Sarah Heron says it all unfolded in a war zone. She knows Heard from Sunday school and feels thankful he's home. He's a really good person, and I believe that if given a chance, he'll contribute to our community in a, in a great way. And I want people to know, as their city councilwoman, that Dustin is a safe person. At his church this Christmas, the pastor's glad the Heard family is together again. It's just a sense of joy. Just a, just a sense of joy of knowing um, that these the children are going to be with their dad. Reporting from Maryville, I'm Cole Sullivan. In a press release about the pardon, President Trump says some evidence was not appropriately presented at trial. He also says prosecutors relied on a questionable Iraqi investigator.